Look, I, I think we're in general, um, so yeah, top. Today on an all new Dr. Phil. Hey, so I'm about to go and get well I've got to choose one I'm always I'm always rushing I'm gonna go get a baby capsule I've decided I'm gonna get a capsule because I'm on my own and I just need I, I don't have an extra pair of hands and sometimes I'm gonna to need to just run into the shops and yeah it's just gonna to be too hard like on my own but all my clothes I think it's because my stomach's expanding there's tags on the left side of all of your clothes and it's hurting my stomach like it's scratching and irritating my skin I am so over it like I'm so over it anyway I just cut I just cut it off it's this stupid little tag like irritating my skin oh all right I'm um oh great now I've got a big a big hole in my shirt All right, I'm gonna go I just bought a back car seat cover as well because I've got to go put that on before they go and fit the the capsule over the top always rushing I'll debrief later okay bye I'm out the front of the the baby shop to find a capsule but I've got to quickly put this car seat cover on which hopefully it fits because like the thing is, like, how do people get everything done? I guess this is the part of being a solo parent to be. Like, I don't have... Oh, I've opened it from the wrong side. I don't have... Oh, these... Oh, this is why it's good that I've got scissors in the car. I don't have anyone else, like, to delegate and to do other jobs. So, it's just... I guess it's because I'm still, like, doing work and everything. Oh, no just can't right now that that is just gonna have to wait all right let's hope this fits oh it doesn't even tell me if this is the top or the bottom at least it could tell me if it's the top or the bottom I've just got this capsule installed and then the baby is literally like moved down like I'm getting worried because is that that moment where people say when the baby drops like the baby's moved down and all of a sudden I've got like a full hand space underneath my ribs which I didn't have that before like so I reckon you'll be able to see, like if I put this like here, can you see that space? Like from here to here? Anyway, I'm getting really nervous because it's like, <sighs> all this has happened and yeah, I've just, I've still got so much to do. I'm just not ready. My phone is going off, like, like off and I just don't have time to like answer to everything at the moment like I can't I can't do everything okay one thing at a time so I'm just gonna have a moment in the car I've got to go back into the shop and buy some other bits and pieces but like I swear it's really strange like this there's this gap and I've got I'll show you again like I fully have this like gap here now and I feel like she's in this part, but she's moved down. Should I be like getting ready to go into labor or what is this? Like, can someone kind of like tell me what's going on here? Um, I've got to move from this angle. Okay. I've got to go like, something is going on right now. I've got to go. I've got to go. All right.
Bye. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a view. So cute. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Is this like, it's like a mini baby shower. And uh, baby moon? we're calling it a baby moon as well. What's a baby moon? I think like it's when you like... When before you have your baby. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So cute. Yes, yes, I know, My, I know. <laughs> Let's just not even talk about it. Oh no, I forgot to push where I'm going. Oh, now, I think. Sharon, this is fancy. I'll we'll do a zoom in, we'll do a zoom in. <laughs> you guys have to tell me if you can see the um, shapewear as well. Okay, I'll tell ya. Welcome to my baby moons, like baby little baby shower, mini, mini baby shower. Oh, we have to use everything. We have to just use everything. I think there's a toilet and shower there. Oh, everything is so fancy. This one is no chili, but gluten free. I'm okay with chili. It was gluten free, but yeah. what is not gluten free? Yeah. 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 Oh, no chili. Can I have a trip? We'll wait until Penny takes her video. No, I'm taking video now. Everyone eat <laughs> Kyla's room service. Oh, those <laughs> chips. They're cute. So what are these cool. little sauces? Oh, Hey guys, let's just quickly recap. I've officially made it to full term. This is what full term looks like. I know, it's crazy. If I actually turn all the way around, you'll see my back is extremely itchy. Like I had this about two months ago and now I've got all these scratch marks on my back again. It's like so itchy. I'm just going to go get a chair and then let's just have a chat. One sec. It's very dark in here. No. How's that? Okay. Let's recap. So I had like a little mini baby shower. It was just like literally just a handful of my closest people. And I just can't believe that. Oh, I shouldn't cross my... Um, that's like bad body language. This stomach is, this stomach is so hard. It's like, I always found it weird when I saw women resting their hands on here, but it's like, I fully have a shelf. If you can see, I've got a shelf for my boobs and my hands. I, I find myself walking around and holding my hands like up here. Oh, so had a little, uh, like a mini little high tea. And then we stayed in a hotel overnight and it was really lovely. Just also to get out of the house because I've been doing so much to get organized. Like being like a solo mum to be and the amount of stuff that you don't realize that you have to do and the amount of stuff that you have to get ready is insane um i got the okay didn't get the cut look at, i'm sorry i'm out of breath like that's just part of it just out of breath just talking and doing nothing so i opted last minute to get the capsule i got the capsule fitted just being on my own and needing to like run into the shops or just to quickly grab something and even just getting the baby from the car, like in the garage in, inside and she's going to be a winter baby. So I don't always want to wake her if she's sleeping in the car so I can just unclip the capsule. Although that was done so fast, as you could see, 
previously I was a bit overwhelmed <laughs> it's just like they just show you so quickly but yeah so that's done I've just it's just so hard because you need a day where you just to be able to do these things I really this week need to meal prep just because I know I'm going to come home and I don't have any family around or anyone that um, I'm yeah I'm not going to be able to cook so I have to do the whole make some meals and pop them in the freezer I've made some peanut butter biscuits and some banana muffins which are basically to help support breastfeeding I've just put a whole heap of seeds and brewers yeast and nuts and yeah so they're like really healthy I've said to myself I cannot touch this batch my back is so itchy oh what else I think I I might look if there's like I know that there's a couple of really healthy meal delivery services I just moved closer because it's really really dark yeah, I might have a look and see if there's any meal delivery services that do some really healthy meals. What else, guys? I'm actually, I'm kind of getting ready, but I'm, I guess I'm never going to fully be ready. I've packed most of my hospital bag. Um, I have some little girl outfits, which I only had gender neutral stuff so they're just drying you have to like pre-wash all the clothes <sighs> what else I think I think that's it for the moment <sighs> I I'm I'm officially full term so I could have the baby at any moment now I just I haven't done a birthing course yet I'm freaking out I'm <sighs> I'm getting kind of ready but I'm not really ready I mean yeah, I just, I don't really know what to expect. Like, I just don't know. Um, now, pregnancy update, I get the Braxton Hicks contractions are like hectic. I get a lot of those. If I bend over to pick things up, if I lift anything heavy, Braxton Hicks contraction, and my stomach contracts into a really, really hard ball, uh, I'm getting shooting nerve pain through my groin. But it's really weird. It's like lightning. I think they, and then out of my vagina, like just like a shooting nerve pain. It's not even a pain. It's like this is nervy. I think they call it lightning crotch. And they call it that for a reason because it's exactly what it's like. It's like lightning. You'll be walking and then you'll just like have a moment and then you're like, and it's like a shooting nerve thing that goes through your groin and then your vagina and you literally almost like lose strength for a second it's really weird that happens a lot at night time and when we were staying in the hotel I was having a shower and it just like it just kept happening and I was like holding onto the glass that sounds kind of like steamy <laughs> but it's not and like shooting lightning like coming through my groin like heaps of them were happening and I was like oh, I'm not ready like I'm not ready this is this is this the beginning of labor like I don't I don't know I've started ex expressing colostrum I've shared that on my Instagram so the first one I tried did take me 10 minutes and now Last night I did one in five and a half minutes. I'll show you my stash so far. Okay, so I only have six so far, but I've labeled these and this is what I'll take to the hospital and I might have to feed these to the baby like in the hospital let me put them back in the freezer and really now it's I'm just taking it day at a time like each day I just got to try to get more stuff done I just need to clean and get stuff ready I need to clean the house more um, 
I'm never fully gonna be ready, but yeah, I just, I don't know when I'll be seeing you next. <laughs> if I go past my due date, if I go, I don't know what's happening. Um, I'll check back in with you guys. I don't know. I don't know the next time I'll be seeing you. <laughs> the next time I'll be seeing you could be my birth vlog. So, um, yeah. All right. Well, hope you're enjoying these updates. This might be the last update. Okay. Which is so crazy to say because I, I just, the amount of stress I've been under, I, I just, obviously I've only ever had miscarriages and never had, never made it this far before. It was, if you've watched my journey, I think you will, like, you'll understand the way that I talk and all the things that I say if you go back and watch my history because this has been a really, really long road to get to here and I just, it was you know, in the beginning, the first trimester, it was trying to, it was taking it day at a time. And then it was literally, it's just getting, you just try to get through each week. I just, I can't believe I'm here. All right, I'm going to go. I've got, I've got to keep getting stuff done and I will, I, I don't know when I'll see you guys next. Okay. So wish me luck and, um, I don't know. I'll see you soon. Bye.